this is gonna be a very fun and exciting journey and something that I've never done before. Wow, that landing was incredible. Look, there's the Austrian Alps behind me. If this is anything to go by, this is gonna be one epic trip. Pretty cool. Imagine living in that house. It literally looks like a mini castle. That is a pretty cool backdrop. The water here is so clear. That's so pretty. The fish are going right next to us, Dean. Look at these beautiful romantic swings. Never seen water in a lake this clear before. Oh, hello guys and welcome to another series. This one is going to be super exciting because it's something we've never done before. It's currently New Year's Eve. We are currently sat in the Costa in Manchester Airport about to board a plane to Klagenfurt, Austria and we are going to be spending the next seven days traveling through Austria down to Slovenia and back up into Austria. So we'll be starting our journey in Klagenfurt, Austria. From there we'll be going down to Lake Bled in Slovenia then moving on to Ljubljana in Slovenia and then back up to Austria as we explore Graz and finish our trip in Klagenfurt. So first off is Klagenfurt in Austria. We found super cheap flights online although we added cabin bags so that ended up not being that cheap in the end. So we're going to be spending New Year's Eve and New Year's Day in a little city called Klagenfurt. There's apparently a lake there as well and then the day after that we'll be getting a bus through to Slovenia to Lake Gleg. This is somewhere I've always wanted to go. So watch out for the next few vlogs because this is going to be a very fun and exciting journey and something that I've never done before. Also, typically, I was wheeling my cabin bag through and my wheel has broke. I don't know if you can see it, but all of the rubber stuff has come off the wheel. So I've never really flew on New Year's Eve or any sort of holiday before. So I was interested to see what the airport was like. Security was pretty much dead, but the roads were also so really quiet so it's pretty interesting i think we'll be boarding in about 20 minutes or so so i'm gonna finish my coffee and then we're gonna get on the plane and let's head to austria shall we all right we just got a notification it's time to board let's go shall we See, a nice empty flight. It means we've got a whole world to ourselves. My favourite time to fly is like in winter because oftentimes the flights are empty. So we've got a whole row and there's other rows. We could probably have a row to ourselves if we want. security now we just need to find how to get to our airbnb i'm thinking taxi but i can't seem to find any taxis on uber so uh we're just gonna have to wing it Thank you. 
cute Airbnb. It is. It's such a cute little apartment. We found this on Airbnb. It's right in the center. There's Christmas market still on with it being New Year. We are a little worried because we think um, the shops might be shut and we need to go get some food and supplies. I'm hoping some restaurants and stuff will be open. Some of the Christmas markets are open, but the rest is shut, but we're literally in the center. But look how cute this Airbnb is. You walk through the door here. We've got this little dining table over here. Cute little lamps. I love the ambiance. A little kitchen. Look how cute this kitchen is with a gold tap very aesthetic and very very pretty and then round here is the bed it's like a little studio apartment nook. how cute a little sleeping nook yeah you're right dean i love the ambiance look at these even all the decor and stuff it's right up my street very scandy and then we've got some cafes and stuff just outside and then this is the city below anyway i don't know why i took my coat off because we're heading straight back out i think we're going to try and find a shop or um something to get some bits and some food this is our first night new year's eve uh, i don't know what the plans are for tonight we're just going to wing it and we've got the whole day tomorrow in Clagenfurt, so we'll be having a look around and hopefully going to see the lake as well can i just say landing in Clagenfurt was one of the most beautiful landings that I have ever seen. Like we've landed in Milan before across the Swiss Alps, that was stunning. And we've seen the Matterhorn, but this was like, he came in the Austrian Alps and then you just seen all these teal turquoise lakes, which is Lake I am worth see, I think, I'm worth a see. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, we're gonna see if we can find any food or anything in Klagenfurt. Let's go, shall we? As you come down the stairs to, to our Airbnb, we're up on the top floor. Look at this cute little apartment apartment space you it's like this little uh, courtyard how cute is this i think just as we come out here down there is like a main center and this is a view as we come out everywhere's really quiet uh, because it's new year's eve i don't know what the customs are here whether it's hustle and bustle on an evening or whether people more stay in the homes and have parties but we're soon going to find out it's kind of nice because we're still getting like the festivities of christmas the lights are still up and the trees are still up and stuff but oh this this road's really cool it's just lined with christmas trees and stuff look at this it's a road lined with christmas trees and lights and stuff but look how dead it is here it's so quiet one thing we noticed when we were driving in as well is how beautiful the architecture looks already just like a street lined with like christmas trees with balls on it cute well i didn't even look behind me but <laughs> there's a big like mountain just behind here i don't know if you can see it on the camera but there's literally a mountain i am a tiny bit worried because the shops and the restaurants that we've passed so far look closed we found a shop oh my gosh and it's open yay Look at this, Krampus. What the heck? But it's made out of like figs and stuff. I wonder what this means. I like it. recognize it from Christmas. I wonder if it's like a festive, like a festivity type thing. How nice does the bakery section look? Look how nice these breads and stuff look. 23p. Ooh, I might try that. Look at that. Yummy. We've just done our shopping and we're just walking back through the streets. I think we're going to go to maybe this bistro. Look how nice this looks. I think it's open, but there's only one inside it. We actually bought some food to cook and we're going to have it for dinner today and tomorrow. But because it's like lunchtime, even though it looks like nighttime, we're going to get lunch here. This is such a cute little bistro. The coffee smells amazing. You can sit upstairs as well. I think we're going to sit right here. Look how cool it is here. We can get a drink. They're just serving drinks at the moment, but the bars are definitely open here, uh, which is good news. But we do need to get something to eat, but we have bought little salami to have a little platter. We bought some rye bread to have like pate on, and some strawberries, and some little healthier bits to eat. And we thought we'd cook maybe a pasta dish, and we could have that tonight and tomorrow. So we may cook our tea um, in the room and get all cosy for New Year's Eve and have on the New Year. Um, or we might come out and get a glass of wine. We don't know yet, we're just kind of winging it, but for now I've ordered myself a chai latte. Happy New Year, Dean. Happy New Year. 
Ding. Look how nice and creamy that chai latte looks. All right, so we've decided on a plan. It's also getting a little busier, so I think maybe things closed a little bit earlier. Uh, there was also that bar that we've just been to is fully packed out from 6 p.m. Uh, because it's currently now 4 p.m. So we're gonna go back to the apartment, have lunch, have a little rest, and then come back out and see the kind of New Year's Eve festivities and see what everyone gets up to and have a glass of red wine to celebrate the New Year in Austria. fully rested up and now we're heading out it's actually like 10 p.m but we just wanted to see out of curiosity what it's like so we're just gonna have a little bit of a walk around i spotted something shining in the distance i want to go see it the thing that's lit up all down in the corner is a little square and i think this is where they have the christmas market so this is normally the square but look at the central building that they've got all lit up and they've got big purple stars on it but this would all be lit up this would be a great christmas market to come to so this little section here is all lit up and there's a lot of people here drinking and stuff this is so cool honestly anyone who's looking at doing christmas markets look next year this one when it's all open looks epic this part's open where people are drinking but i think we'll want in a more chill vibe we found this little cafe i think we're gonna go get a red wine from here it's like a couple dancing together in here that makes me so happy from Klagenfurt in Austria and Happy New Year. So yesterday, me and Dean ended up finding like a tiki bar and it had a really good offer on actually. It was like unlimited cocktails for 44 euros or something. We only had a couple, but if you were on a night out, that'd be pretty good. We watched some fireworks from the window and then we basically had a very chilled New Year's Eve. Today, we're heading off into Klagenfurt. There's a few things we just wanna kind of walk around, have a look at the architecture, see the sights. We don't know if things are gonna be closed because when we stumbled on some bars, it did say that they were closed today. Also, a park called Europe Park that is on the Lake Worthersea and I would love to see that, but it is a 58 minute walk also my cold's got really bad and I've got a blocked ear so we're just gonna walk around oh and one thing we need to do is we actually need to find where the bus station is because we have to get up at like half 3 a.m. tomorrow to head to Slovenia let's go and explore this little town in Austria shall we oh my gosh it's such a nice day outside it kind of reminds me of spring it feels it's like getting me excited for spring you know like spring weather nice crisp and sunny there's no wind <sighs> makes me so happy. We should get a scooter and go to the lake on it. There's these scooters everywhere. Also, can I just say, it's so quiet here. A little bit eerie, like it's so dead. There's like barely anyone around, it's really quiet. But these see scooters, so I wonder if we can hop on that and go to the lake. closed i think we might be out of luck i do have a feeling most things are pretty much going to be closed today uh, but it's kind of it's kind of cool to just like walk around when everywhere's shut and there's like no one around because one of my favorite things to do is to look at all the buildings and everything anyway so it's kind of eerie but kind of cool Ooh, look at this little alleyway down there 
Let's look in this courtyard, Dean. Cute little courtyard. Oh, it's a hotel. There's cafe seats outside, but just everywhere is shut. Pretty cool. I feel like we've got the whole city to ourselves, but nothing's open. It's kind of like a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> this kind of little square which looks like a little market normally like stalls like fruit stalls and stuff uh, this would be a pretty cool place to do some uh, some shopping there's also like bars and restaurants and wine places florist we can hear all the church bells going off one behind us at that um, church there and then one in front which we're gonna have a look at this is so cool honestly Jack's Burger seems to be open and busy. We decided to head to Europa Park uh, to see like the lake and everything um, and have a look around the town. We might see if we can get a scooter. If not, it's a 48 minute walk. Imagine living in that house. It literally looks like a mini castle. That's so cool. This street is really, really pretty as well. It's full of really nice like houses and stuff. Right next to the park, we're just following the canal. We haven't looked on Google Maps, but I'm guessing this little river here will take us to the lake. Just look at all these houses. How pretty are them? It looks so nice just overlooking the canal. We're definitely getting closer to the lake because you can start to see all the forestry and stuff in the background and look how cool these houses are! And you can see just past this bridge is the Alps. Well, the houses are so pretty on this walk. We spotted this thing over the road just from the canal. Uh, I'm hoping we can get some sort of water and maybe lunch to take uh, by the park. We're in luck, I think it's open. It looks like a bakery of some kind. Oh, it's cute in here. Whoa, look at all these. Oh, we could get some sandwiches too. We got ourselves some lunch, got myself a cappuccino, and some Corinthia water. Nice and crisp, so we're gonna chuck into this. I'm kind of glad we found somewhere open because I was getting really, really thirsty. Uh, so thank goodness for that, I'm gonna drink all this water before we head off. And then we're about 10 minutes away from the park. There's actually this little miniature sculpture park here called Mini Mundus. Uh, we're right, it's literally just behind us here, right by it. And it's basically like small sculptures of all like famous landmarks like the Eiffel Tower and stuff. But unfortunately it is closed in the winter months. So it's not currently open. But if you come into Klagenfurt or passing through, it looks really cool online. Just through those trees. Here it is. Mini Mundus. Look, it has like the Taj Mahal, Leaning Tower of Pisa, which we're going to on a road trip in summer. I wonder if you can see through. I don't know if you can see through in here. It's like a tiny little mini park where you look around. You can kind of see it through these trees, but there's a sculpture. It's quite big actually. The sculptures are bigger than I thought they were going to be. We're just by the lake here and there's a water slide that goes directly into the lake. Oh, 
This dog's having the time of its life. <laughs> so cute. That is a pretty cool backdrop. <laughs> this dog's making me laugh. It's him. He's having the best time in the lake. It's a beautiful day as well. It's literally zero wind. It's about eight degrees and sunny. And we've got that in the background, currently just sat on the bench. <laughs> Enjoying the backdrop. My camera's picking it up, but it's super, super crystal clear all the way. You can see to the bottom. This would be beautiful in the summer to come and do a lake swim. This is what this all is, swimming in the lake. Oh wow, you can see all the fish. Wow, that's so pretty. It's literally crystal clear. I really want to swim in here. <laughs> what the heck? It's like nature's swimming pool. The fish are coming right next to us, Dean. We're just sitting on the edge of the dock and it's really nice because the fish are plopping up and it's making like this plopping noise. It reminds me of Animal Crossing, you know, when the fish come up and go. I was just saying to Dean that I've never seen water in a lake this clear before. Honestly, the urge to swim in it is so strong. Hey, hey we're gonna get a photo here. What a good picture for him, what the heck? Oh, there's a little cafe just by the lake. I don't think there's any seats. It's pretty busy here. Yay, there was one table spare. Look at that. Wow. We've got an even better spot now. Right by the lake. Oh, it's a shame because they have like frankfurters and stuff as well. Um, but unfortunately, it's cash only and we still haven't been to an ATM yet. I think there's a restaurant around here called Mario. Yeah, there is. Oh no, Mario Loretto up that way. And then, I don't know what's up that way, but there's a nice like looking castle thing on the lake. Looks like a castle. I think it's just like a house, but still, looks like a castle on the lake. I can't actually believe how lucky we've been with the weather. Because literally last week there was an arctic storm blowing through and even hit England and it was brutal. And now, for the whole week ahead, it's going to be pretty still and quite warm. Totally reminds me of spring. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, there's another cafe on the end of the docky. Villa Lido. Well, it's all like marine inspired. What a nice view. Do we have to wait to be seated or can we just... Oh, I'd love to sit outside on the dock. Don't know if there's any seats. We've had a spot. Look at this. Look at these beautiful romantic swings. Like bench swings. Also, look at the mountains behind us. I love as well that it's like the 1st of January and everyone's just sat outside. Probably because the weather's so nice, but <gasps> stunning here. This is a restaurant serving pastas, pizzas, fish, steaks, like an Italian. We got some hot soups for dinner. I got tomato and Dean got vegetable. <laughs> it's like just what you need when you got home. And now we're just going to have the walk back to our hotel, our Airbnb, because we've got a super early night. I'm a night owl as well, so I probably won't be able to sleep, but we have to get up at 3.30 in the morning to head off to Slovenia at Lake Bled. So, we just look at that, but we've got a nice sunset walk. The sun is literally setting, so it's stunning. I would like to try and be back before it gets dark. It's been a beautiful, relaxing day here. And this is a oh, it's a just behind me like a train line that's been running through but time to head back.
we had just cut our whole trip down by about 45 minutes because we hired one of these scooters. But look at this, I'm currently on my phone because my camera's packed away. How nice is this side street? Look at these buildings. These are great, but it did cost five and six euros, but it cut our time down by about 45 minutes. Well worth it in my opinion, and it's super fun. Oh, green man, green man, run deep. Just walking through the back of the Christmas markets, and here's the dragon of Klagenfurt. Look at this guy. Just done Google Translate on the plaque, and apparently he slain this dragon here in the 1800s or the 1600s. Either way, pretty cool dragon in the centre of Klagenfurt. When the Christmas markets aren't on, this is one big open square that looks beautiful. This would also make a really cool Christmas market. Everywhere is closed at the minute though. There's also a statue here as well. Maria Teresa, I think that says. Wow, look at this building. also a water fountain here of what looks like a knight and then we've got lions underneath the water fountain for the next couple of hours. Anyway, we're back into the Airbnb and we're gonna get a pretty early night tonight because we have to get up super early to go to Lake Bled in Slovenia tomorrow. So join us in the next episode where we will be getting up super, super early and attempting to get a bus to Slovenia. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow along on this next couple of vlogs as we travel throughout Austria and Slovenia. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.